AliceMaids.com. Well, keeping your house clean and neat certainly has its challenges. So anytime I can get tips on how to make it easier, I love it. And Whitney Rogers from Dallas Maids has some amazing ideas for us to make cleaning go a little easier because really it, to clean well, you have to be organized, don't you think? Yeah, it's better to work smarter, not harder. Yes. So. Okay, so let's let's start with some of your, your favorite tips. Well, this first of all, we just kind of keep everything with you. Our maids actually use our aprons like this. They have really deep pockets that you can fit like a whole canister in. That way they keep all the things they need with them. That way you're not running around all over the place going, oh, I need this, oh, I need that. Oh my gosh, I do that. Or like the Windex I'll put somewhere and then I am then I spend 10 minutes searching for it because I can't remember which room I left. Story of my life, also, or the cell phone rings. Yeah. So it's best to either keep an apron or maybe a caddy, which this is just a simple bucket to have all of these nifty little items in because I almost place them or my phone will ring and then that distracts me because then I walk past the TV right. and then I'm not cleaning and <laughs> or the ice box. <laughs> okay, and one of your other tips that I love is to start up high with your cleaning and end down low. Tell, explain yes. what you mean by that. Um, when you start up high, you want to start high and dry. So that way, obviously, when your things are picked up out of the floor, else dust will fall on them. Whenever you want to clean those ceiling fans, either get like a, a duster or something like that to brush it off. That way, when it hits the floor, you haven't already swept and you're just repeating yourself. So you want to get the ceiling fans and the cobwebs out of the corners and the air vents. That way, the dust falls down already onto the dirty floor and then you sweep or vacuum so it's just one simple job. This has answered an age-long question for me because I've always <laughs> wondered like do you dust first or do you vacuum first because if you dust first and then you vacuum sometimes the vacuum kicks up more dust. Right. Depends so. on what you love more. Do you love vacuuming more or dusting more? <laughs> I don't like any of it. I hate all of it. Uh, me too. <laughs> okay what are some of your other tips? Um, some of our other tips. Well one thing is to stop the mess before it happens, and I know that sounds really crazy, but you could do simple things like, I know some people like a no-shoe rule, doesn't work in my family, we're in and out the door so much. So if you don't want to start a no-shoe rule, you can do just having a washable, non-skid mat in front of every door that leaves the house. Mm -hmm. That way, whenever you come in, it already stops half of the dirt. So it oh, makes the job idea. a little bit easier. Or for and it, pets, And that it helps. is important, didn't you say, to be organized. Like to, I was saying that I usually go through the house first when I clean and I, and I pick everything up off the floor. I hang everything up in the closet. I, yes. I declutter the, the countertops and then I go in and scrub everything. Yes, clutter is awful. I mean, I know I have it more than most other people because I'm just a college student, so that's <laughs> my, all I own is clutter. So little things like if you notice you're picking up your laundry too much, maybe your hampers are not in the right place or maybe they're not even big enough. Um, or little things like mail when you walk inside that little table next to your door. If maybe you put a little basket there, that's now the mail spot. And instead of being a little haphazard stack, it's nice and neat in a little tidy bundle. I so. love these tips. It's <laughs> so good. And also you, you need to have the right tools, right? Yes. Aside from just being able to carry them around easily, you actually need the right things to clean with. So tell me some of the things that, that you recommend that we have in our cleaning arsenal. Okay. Well, obviously there's furniture polish. Mm -hmm. Keeps your wooden furniture nice and neat. I don't own anything personally that needs to be polished. <laughs> That's long gone. But um, sometimes people, it just depends on your preference. Some people like feather dusters. I like those little microfiber dusters because it really grabs it rather than just spray it everywhere yes. and that's what that big microfiber mop is and I like the um, the taller handle too so that you can get on top of those ceiling fans yes. and up on top of the you know in the ceiling corners and all that oh my goodness my parents house it's not big but the living room is huge and there's nothing that bothers me more than those two or three spider webs and they're just mocking me. Oh my gosh, I feel the it. spider webs in the recessed light cans. Yes. And you turn oh the light goodness. on and you see it and you can't reach it. That's why I like those long handles. Crazy. Drives me nuts. It's to, <laughs> to be obsessive compulsive and cleaning is not a good combination. No. <laughs> Especially because well, it kicks in at 3 a.m. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here today, oh, no sharing problem. all your tips with us. Be sure to check out dallasmaids.com for more details. You can also reach them at this phone number, 972-851-9994. Okay, more broadcast when we come back. Stay with us.